My name is Sydney Smith. I was born with a disease called charcoal Marie tooth, and I've been a double amputee since 2015. I've always wanted to do something difficult like this, something that I could possibly fail at. My dad did it a couple times with my two brothers, and because of my feet, I never got a chance to do it. Because of the prosthetics, I actually have a better ability to do things, and it opened the door to do many things, something like this hike. I also wanted to bring my nine-year-old son with me. I know he could do hard things, and I wanted to see him do it and share this moment and get closer to with his grandfather, as we'll only have a few moments of time left. King's Peak is the highest mountain in Utah, 13,527 feet. 30 miles round trip, 4,100 feet elevation gain, and no legs. We got there, we set up our camp, found a beautiful spot, and the first thing my son wanted to do was go fishing. So we snuck away and went over to Dollar Lake and cast a few lines. One of the highlights of the trip was fishing with my son. So we got up the next morning fairly early. My legs just did not want to go inside the prosthetics. But we did anyways. It was a nice steady climb. Got to about 12,000 feet and um, the air started to become thinner. It was a little harder to push. And then we took a shortcut and the trail became very difficult. Tired and we haven't even summited. One of the hardest things about the climb was going up. So we brought along another set of feet to see if they would give me a better center of gravity and uh, tried them on and tried to go a few rocks and that did not go so well. It was obviously devastating because I knew it was going to be difficult with the other feet. But I plugged them back on and they performed awesome. That last part was definitely the hardest. It was intimidating because you could see the cliff on both sides. And you just had to focus not to look over, otherwise you get a little bit dizzy.
As we get closer to the top, we could see a group of people already there. We knew we were close. My son saw it too, and I wanted to reach the top with him at the same time, but I could tell that he was just anxious to get there, so I let him push forward. Just a warm feeling, just kind of, of excitement and energy and everything, all the issues that I've had, my legs and all the problems from previously on the trail went away. Man, what a test. What a test that was, huh? Especially to know that I can keep up with my brothers and that I can climb King's Peak. And to share that moment with my dad that he had all his sons reach the top. Good job, proud of you. Some of the things that I learned from this trip, obviously, is that there was times that I was afraid and that I didn't know for sure if I was gonna make it or not. The little feeling to quit was coming in. Once I reached that top, I thought how silly it was for me to even consider that and how there's so many people out there that have an able body that tell themselves the same things. They tell themselves every day that they're too fat or they're don't have the time to do something, or they're too young or too skinny, or they don't maybe have the money to do something like this. And I think all those things together made me realize that there's a lot of excuses out there that we just tell ourselves, things that I tell myself sometimes every day, and that they're just lies.